Hello everyone, welcome to my presentation. I'm so glad that you are here. I'm going to talk about uh, something that is the first time that I talk to someone. Well, I talk to about this. I talk about this with my family and the people that are more close to me, but uh, until now, I didn't have the chance and the permission to share what I'm going to share. But before I start uh, talking about drawings inside the prison, I will present myself. Uh, I'm Nelson, I'm from Lisbon, Portugal, and I started to draw three years ago. And then, in the first year, I was searching what kind of drawings uh, I really enjoy. And today, I know that I enjoy drawings that have a story behind. So, today, I'm going to tell a story about drawings and with drawings, and before, I will show you a couple of examples of the things that I really like to do. All the time I'm drawing scenes that I want to remember in the future. Uh, most of the times there are normal things at home, my father sleeping in the sofa and a football match on the television, but it was not uh, just a football match. It was the football match where uh, Holland lost against Iceland, so Iceland went to the Euro Cup and Holland stay at home. And another curious thing, my, my son Vasco, uh, she asked me, hey dad, can I draw in your sketchbook? But you draw inside the place of the, the sketchbook. Or the day my kid uh, was nine years old, his birthday, I, never, I, I didn't took a picture, well, uh, since I start drawing, I, 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 uh, I never take pictures. And they were playing with a Lego. Or something that is happening on the TV that is uh, historical. It was the day where we had the new president. Or two things that are mixed, which is uh, world heritage and my kid playing on the floor. And I write always in my drawings because they are things that cannot be uh, drawn. Or my favorite aunt making a cake. Or my son after a surgery. I didn't took a picture, but I wrote the story of the day, and I think one day you will love to see this again. And now I'm going to talk about drawings inside the prison. Uh, I will start explaining how do I remember this. But for you to have an idea how the presentation is going to happen, I will like, divide this in, in, in eight parts. And the first part, I'm going to explain how do I remember to do this. And then I will tell uh, a short uh, story about uh, Monsanto's prison, which is the high security prison in Portugal the way I presented myself to the inmates, and then the difficulties we had to draw inside the prison. Because when I remember this, and I will talk in five minutes, I thought that it could be very interesting to draw inside the prison, but the places that we are used to know about the prison, the canteen, the, the patio, the library, but this prison doesn't add any of those spaces. And then I will talk about each one of the inmates. I will talk more about one of them because he has a, an amazing story behind him. It was so amazing to meet him and I realized that probably he is going to be proud if I could share his story and his drawings. And then I asked a permission and he was so uh, happy uh, when I asked him if I could present him differently from the other inmates. And then I will talk about the prison staff. And then uh, in the end, I will present the drawings I did in the, the sessions and some conclusions I had in those nine months. Before I started to think about this, my idea was to tell a story about something that is not common. And my idea was to draw in a casino. I would love to draw the gambling addiction inside a casino, to know their stories. And then I tried to do that, but one day I spoke with the director of uh, uh, Lisbon's casino and they told me 
it's impossible because the people that, that are inside the casino, they don't want to be disturbed. So it's impossible for you to draw and impossible, completely impossible to speak with them. Because it's, it's, I have inside of me a kind of journalist thing, but I, I, I need to quit that idea. And then I remember what can I do uh, with people that have problems that could have a story to tell. And then I wrote three letters to three uh, directors of uh, Lisbon prisons and I received a response of one of them. I was 10 months uh, waiting for the permission to start the, um, the, the lessons. And then when I got the permission, I start immediately. Monsanto prison was initially uh, a fort, uh, a military fort. Uh, is not is no longer a fort, but it was refurbished uh, in the is were refurbished in 2007 to be the high security prison in, in Portugal. We had a high security prison at the time, uh, and is has only capacity for uh, 50 inmates. This is the plan. Uh, it's it's a very strange thing. It looks like uh, the Pentagon or something. Uh, those squares that you can see, they are individual patios because the inmates, they have, well, they live in a suite. They have their own patio because they cannot mix with the other prisoners. And the, the patios have bars on the top. Some things that are different in a, a high security prison when compared to others is they have their own cell. Uh, they need to clean the cell uh, by their own. And they cannot be more than three inmates at the same place at the same time. And there are inmates that cannot be together because otherwise uh, it, was, it, 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 it will be a mess. They can have only a ring and a watch with them. They have a small space in the cell like this to put some pictures from the family, and they can have only one book at a time. The meals are, are all taken inside the cell. They have two visits per week, but the visits are with an unbreakable glass dividing. They can do two phone calls a week for 10 minutes, but with a guard uh, close to them. But they have some activities. They can be one hour daily uh, in the gym, but the gym could have only two inmates at the same time. And they can spend two hours a day in the patio, but they, sometimes there are uh, inmates that don't like to use the patio because they, the patio has bars on the top. So they prefer to stay in the cell, despite they, can, they could leave uh, from the cell, there are inmates that spend all day inside the cell. They spent 18 to 21 hours inside the cell. Before I start, they told me, you, you have three rules to follow. Do not ask about their past and the reasons why they were in jail. Do not talk about political and religion. And another rule that is not here, they told me uh, afterwards, don't draw the prison. You cannot draw the corridors, the doors. You cannot draw anything because the place where you are, it's secret. Well, the first rule, we broke it after a couple of sessions. The first day I went to the prison, um, it was my presentation day. I didn't know how it was going to happen, everything. I was not nervous. That day I was full of energy. Uh, it was amazing because I, I was in a place that even in, in dreams or nightmares I was supposed to get in. I will meet people that they didn't rob uh, an old lady or a supermarket. They were tough people. And I was thinking, how do I react to a guy like me? What do they think when they see me? And because they are not used to get people that care about them. 
And should I have anything to fear? Before, before I start this, there were many people, mainly my family, hey, come on, don't you have fear? But fear about what? I'm in a prison that has 15 mates and 100 guards. But then I realized what they were fearing of. I start the presentation with drawings. It was the way I find to break the ice. Uh, I exposed myself completely. I, 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 I brought with me uh, sketchbooks and uh, the story of my life in drawings. Here I have only four drawings presenting my family, uh, but that presentation had several drawings. The place where I live, uh, the things that I like to do, uh, the, the small village where I born, my parents, my brothers, my uncles, everything. So that day was the day when they realized that I was being completely transparent and fair to them. The first day, where, well, I will try to get their um, confidence. I show the drawing of my wife and my kids. The other one. And then I explain that I was an urban sketcher and what is an urban sketcher? And then I, I, I told to them some tips that we use, uh, that we don't worry about the errors. Uh, we are more focused in, in evolution than in the quality, etc. the things that you uh, know for sure. After the presentation, they were completely uh, ashamed of themselves and th it, it was difficult for them to look me into the eyes. In the end, one of them asked me, but you will come back next week? Because they were, they were surprised about this, because they were not expecting to have someone uh, uh, without any kind of uh, objectives to be with them. And I told them, yes, I will come, not every week, but every two weeks. And I will spend two hours and a half with you. I will take an afternoon of vacations every two weeks to be with you. But then I realized that it's, it is impossible to be an urban sketcher inside that prison because we were in a three meters wide, four meters long room with no windows, of course, with a, four chairs and a table, four cha plastic chairs and a table that, that was fixed on the floor with a guard on the outside looking all the time to us. And then I decided, well, I think we need to start with the basics. We need to do blind drawing. We need to do continuous line drawing. And we need to draw objects. We didn't add other chance. But at some point, I realized that I, couldn't, I could not bring the object that I want to the sessions. One day, I took a, a, a small chair from a, from a kid to draw and the lamp, to draw the chair and the shadows. And it was forbidden. They told me, come on, it's, it, this is dangerous. They could get the chair and broke your head. And I told, well, but if they want, they could kill me with this. But they were the rules. So we were not allowed to draw the chair. Then I decided to bring toys from home. Superiors, cars, and then I bring as well some illustration books for them to understand that uh, drawing is it's, 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 uh, something, it's a way of life. They could see uh, through drawings new perspectives. So I bring the books and the authors that I like. And then I realized that they, they, they like portraits. And then I bring images to draw. Actors, musicians. But we were in a small, small room. We are in a university that is, uh, we are breathing art. But how can we 
uh, get involved with drawings when the surrounding is four white walls, a guard, a table that is fixed, and no materials. So I bring all the materials to draw. Pencils, I bought sketchbooks just like mine. And then the, the group of inmates. The first session, we were four. Uh, the second session, we were only three, because one of them, uh, when they, they have um, problems with the guards, they are punished. And the punishment is to lose the visits, the phone calls, and the activities. And the week after, one of them was missing, was uh, uh, disturbing, I don't know, they didn't tell me what he did, and we were only three. The week after, only two. But then they bring another one, and for nine months, we were four. The three inmates, myself, well, five, because I had all the time a guy from the staff, the staff in the room, surveilling. I will speak now about the three inmates. The first one is Jaime Jiménez Arbe, which is a Spanish guy. Um, in the first session, I didn't want to know nothing about them. Well, I want to know everything about them except the reason why they were there. But in the end, the guy uh, came back to me, hey, you know that I'm famous? Come on, you are famous? Yes, I'm famous. I'm the El Solitario, which is a, a famous uh, Spanish bank robbery, robber, that was 12 years uh, running from the police. And then he robbed more than 35 banks in Spain and he was captured in Portugal when he was trying to, to rob a small bank in a small village. Well, it was a, 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 a joint venture between the Portuguese police and the, the Spanish police. And then when he was captured, it was like a scene of film. He's a very smart guy, he speaks five languages, he's a musician, he's a helicopter pilot, uh, he's very famous in Spain, he has uh, also a, a movie that was done by uh, TVE. Um, and it's a guy that used his intelligence to the bad things. He robbed the banks with a, with a, a beard, a mustache and a wig. He used uh, guns. And the reason why he's in a high security prison is because he killed guards in one, one of the robberies. And he's a person that is, um, uh, how do I say, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's enemy for, for Spain and, and for the politics, because it's an anarch, uh, anarchist. So he needs to be in a prison where he cannot have connection with other inmates, otherwise could become... Um, uh, he, he's, a, he's a leader. So that a leader needs to be uh, enclosed in, in a single room. He was sentenced to 47 years in prison because of the murder of those two guards. This is the day of the detention in Portugal. None of them draw before the lessons started. They, were, uh, they decided to choose those, that group because they were people that they, they seem that they like art and they could be the three together. This is the first drawing he did in the room. This is the superheroes and the cars. And then I realized that I, every, every two weeks I prepared myself to, with a theme, with something to draw in those two half an hours. But at some point I realized that it's, I don't need to do that because we, we, we should improvise in the room. They want to draw from a magazine, they want to talk, they want to... 
they want to get free of that space at least for two and a half hours. And a guy that kill people draw fishes and things like that. And dogs and fishes again. And sometimes I was really surprised about the things because I was there to draw with them blind drawing and continuous line drawing. And then they do something like this. One day I asked the director if I could bring some music. But why do you want some music? Because in these two hours, if you can bring a little more of art to the room, I think it will be amazing. And then I brought a radio and a jazz CD. And then he told me, hey, this is the, the most happy day I have in seven years in this prison because I'm a musician, I'm asking all the time to have a guitar in my room, in my cell, but they didn't allow it. So this is the first time I'm having something that I was not expecting. And then he draw his guitar, Lily. And Venezia Carnival. But then there were drawings that, when I saw the drawings, this is a drawing for someone, from someone that is in jail. Like this. Ping, pam, pum. Dedicated to the state and his minions. Or political monkeys in action. But then, hearts and feelings. It was curious because there were different moods from the inmates every session. One day I asked him both, if you could leave for this from this place for a couple of hours, where do you want to go? And they were staring at me, come on, what you are saying. Tell me a place where you want to go and I will go there. I will give you my eyes, I will draw, draw that place and I will give you the drawing. And then he told me, I would love to have a, a drawing from my city, Madrid. And I was in Madrid next week, working. So I asked him, which place? Plaza Mayor. It was the place where I lived my childhood. And then I did the drawing. When I did this drawing, you cannot imagine the, 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 the power inside of me. I was so excited. It was the drawing that I was, in the end, I was melting. Uh, it was the, 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 the unique time that happened that to me when drawing. Because I know that I, w I was giving a drawing, but it wasn't me. It was not me seated there drinking uh, a beer. It was him. He is a guy that loves women. And then I realized that after the sessions, we had uh, sessions every two weeks, and he could spend an afternoon in the other week alone in the room. And then I realized that he was drawing women. One day I asked him, but how are you, why are you so passionate about women? And he told me, he wrote in a paper, and he gave me, and he wrote that the woman represents the beauty as another value scale. They are more, much more intuitive and strong than men. They are smarter. They are the strong sex. They are the ones that decide, that decide which men they want to date. They are the mothers, the sisters, the daughters the partners. They are practicals, complex and sensitive, sweet, passionate, caring, but also uh, tough, protecting and uh, unpredictable. Life is women. I'm fascinated about women because they are marvelous. So I draw them. 
And then, in nine months, he draw 51 women by memory, naked. All of them had a name and the story behind. It was the way he found to express himself with drawings in a different way than uh, our sessions. Because our sessions were, uh, we were spending time not uh, uh, doing this as he did for nine months. 51 drawings. Some of the women were women that he met in his life. Fifty-one drawings. All the drawings that he did in, in the prison are with me, because he told me, when I leave this prison, right now he's in Spain, after the seven years. When he leave the, the, the prison, he told me, I cannot get anything from this place, because this place is disgusting. So, please, keep my drawings. After the summer, he went to Spain in October, uh, and then he gave me uh, his address. It's a, a P.O. box in Spain, and I decided to write, write him a letter with drawings. In that letter, I talk about my kids, how they, are going to sc they, 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 they were in school, my vacations, the political changes in Portugal, and then I told him that I su submit uh, a lecture to this symposium. And then I was asking him permission to talk with some more detail about him. Two, week two weeks after, he sent me a letter with six pages. It's a, it's a letter that it's incredible because uh, I realized that it started this letter the moment after he read mine. He, 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 he was so passionate in this letter. He told me that he was so glad to hear things from you. And then he was starting to describe his life in the prison. He had a new judgment, judgment uh, and he told me that the judgment, the, the trial went well because he was supposed to get uh, more 20 something years and it was only 19. He told me that he's now in uh, Albocácer prison, which is one of the worst prisons in Spain. He's very, um, how do I say that, uh, he's proud of, him, of himself. Even if, if the past is uh, a terrible thing, for him, there are things that he's really proud of that. And he told me, hey, Nelson, in Manchester, tell the people that my, nom, my name is not Jaime, it's Jaime. Because when I lived in the UK, in the USA, they called me Jaime. So he was concerned about that. And then he told me that the life now is much better than in when we was in Lisbon. Uh, he told me about uh, politics. Uh, he's trying again to get a guitar with them. And then he, he, he writes things about drawing. And he told me that when he was in Monsanto, he, was, he had moments with happiness. And he told me, the only good things I always remember in Monsanto prison were the drawing sessions. Uh-oh. OK. The only thing that he got from the prison was the drawing I did from Plaza Mayor. In, in Spain, he can do 10 phone calls a week. And then he told me with proud, my fellow Patuan mates are ETA members, some of them very famous and Islamic terrorists. In the end, Nelson, please write me in when you can. Here you have, a friend, you have a friend. And at some point, I realized that my letter was so ordinary and so uh, uh, with no interest, and his letter was a complete story. The other guy was Giovanni Lori, uh, Italian guy that was arrested in Portugal because some things related to mafia. 
the guy was so stubborn in the beginning, if I said to him, let's draw uh, a box, and he draw another thing. I think he did that not in purpose, because it's himself. But when I got the superheroes, he was fascinated, because the superheroes, it's a representation of strong, strongness. And they could use the, the, the three toys to fight themselves. So they were pushing the arms and the legs, and then they draw them fighting. There's, if, I, if I do the same exercise in a school, they will do different things, I think. But in a prison, they were always uh, thinking in things that could give us some kind of strong, because over there they, they don't have any kind of um, conditions to have that. And I really enjoy his drawings, because they are so loose. One day, I decided to do a different exercise. I bring a text with a description of an antique scene. And then I ask them, let's read this, and then let's try to draw from imagination. It reveals as a really complex uh, exercise, even for me. Uh, the only guy that did the exercise was the stubborn. And did this. The hunter, the dog, the fire, the river, the house, the mountains. Everything that is was on, on the book is in the drawing. And then he do something like this. I really, really like his drawings. He never draw in his life. The first days he was only looking to us with a pen. But and then he was thinking, oh, come on, I can try this. And he draw this. Those are drawings from the illustration books that I, that I bring. And in purpose, he changed the colors. And the result was incredible. And as, as, as Jaime, uh, uh, during the sessions, uh, out, out of the sessions draw naked women, Giovanni was drawing as well uh, in the week that when, when I was not there. And he was drawing things, some of the things by memory. Angela Merkel. And Dilma Rousseff. And then butterflies. Some, at some moments, they draw uh, complex things related to politics and the things that really bothered them. And at the end, they could draw butterflies and flowers. And then I make the same question to Giovanni. Hey, Giovanni, if you could leave this place for two hours, which place do you want to go? And he told me, I love women, so you need to go. He gave me a list of houses in Lisbon <laughs> with prostitutes. <laughs> and he told me, I want you to draw a woman. Hey, Giovanni, I cannot do that. Even if it is for uh, a real uh, request, I cannot tell my wife that I need to go to a <laughs> prostitute house to draw a naked woman. And then I was thinking, how can I do this? And then I went to a, a nude mod model session. And I draw the girl, and in the end, I asked her if, if she could sign the drawing. You cannot imagine the day I give the drawing. You cannot imagine. And then, Ivandro. Here, it's not only the... Because I didn't get uh, the permission to reveal his name. Ivandro was in the high security prison because he was a police guy in, that was arrested in a, a drug thing uh, well, when I told that one of the rules that they asked me in the beginning, do, do not try to get the reason why they are here. But at some point, it was impossible. Because 
when we started to do the sessions, they were so confident with me, they were so happy to have a friend, that in the end, the conversations were about the things they did before. The second session, Ivandro showed me a portrait of his daughter, very proud. And then he told me, I would love to draw with uh, uh, pencils, but I, I don't have pencils. Can you buy me a box of pencils and I will pay you? And I, I, I said to him, no, I will offer you a box of pencils. He draw the superiors as well. David Bowie on the left, the week after he died. Dogs. Once again, when I look into those drawings, I realize that those drawings were done by someone that was in a, in a small room with no liberty. Because the dogs are fighting dogs. The, the, this drawing, after he finished the drawing, I think he felt strength and power. That's the reason why he did it, for sure. Happiness is wearing shirts. It's what is written. This exercise was funny because I told them, we don't need to draw everything. You, you are not drawing the hair and the shorts, but you know that they are there. Ivandro was born in Cap Verde. And one day, he told me about Cesare Evra, uh, because Cesare Evra was the most well-known uh, musician in Cap Verde, and I bring some photos. And then, he drew her and gave me the drawing. At this point, he was trying to draw with different pencils, uh, uh, with different... Um, Como se diz, uh, mais macio, mais duro? Softer. Softer, exactly. As soon as he had more materials, he started to improve his drawings. The actors. Luis Suarez from Barcelona. And the Pope. <laughs> Do you remember the first drawing? Look. The evolution. One day I was inside the cell because I was in the corridor to get into the room with a guard and I realized that was one door open. And then I said to the guard, hey, there's a door open. Hey, don't, don't worry, it's an it's a, a inmate that was making, he's making a phone call. And I asked him, can I watch the cell? Why? I want to see the cell inside. And the guy told me, really surprised, but why? I've been here in this prison for 12 years. I never got into a cell. Why do you want to be there? And that told me, I need to understand how they live. If I understand how they live, I'm more prepared to understand them. And then I got inside the cell. I have everything in my mind from those sessions except the cell. I spent not more than 15 seconds inside. I remember that the cell has two meters large and probably four long, with a small window with bars, stone paving, walls paving, uh, the um, colchão, como se diz colchão? Mastress. was on the top of a concrete block. The television was inside a, 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 a unbreakable uh, glazing uh, wall. And that's it. And then the tiny uh, thing on the wall for the pictures. Nothing more. I was really frightened when I was there. So when I close my eyes, I cannot see that cell again. But if I close my eyes, I can see their faces, the room, the court, everything. But the cell, it, it is erased from, from my memory. This drawing was done the day before I came to Manchester because I had everything prepared, but I thought, there's something missing. I need to, s to show a guard. And then I was there on Sunday, 
and the director was with me with the guards and one of them was posing for three minutes for the drawing. In the end, it was, he was really, really happy with the result. It looks like Pope. Yeah. And in the end, he was so happy because he was really fat <laughs> and I, I turned it into a really strong man. And another curious thing was the two guys from the staff in the prison, since the beginning, they were really interested in, in the things that we were doing. One of them was the uh, director's uh, deputy, and the other one was the, the guy responsible for the health care and uh, psychological things uh, related to the inmates. And he was the guy that every session was seated in a chair, just surveilling. The day of the superheroes, he opened a sketchbook and started drawing. And he never stopped. This is the guy that is the um, direct deputy. When I presented this, he was so excited because he had uh, a graphic diary as well. He's a photographer, he writes a lot, and all his life is in a sketchbook, but with no sketches. But after I started the sessions, he started sketching, uh, sketching as well. And he showed me amazing drawings. He went to the supermarket. Here he draw from pictures, but that's okay. To start, it's allowed, I think. And then he was starting to draw outside. And he draw a lot, a lot, a lot. When I asked him, hey, give me some drawings for my presentation, he sent me more than 100. <laughs> this is the other guy, the guy that was surveying all the time. And uh, at some point, he started drawing as well. And now he's a sketchbook and draws. And of course, in the beginning, I told you that what I'm really interested in is to know about the stories ab about the people. And if I, the only way I have to put them in a, in a graphic uh, thing is with drawings. Okay, let's draw. This drawing is one of my favorites because once they told me that I could not draw the room, okay, I will not draw anything but the inmates with no chairs, with nothing. <laughs> Only them drawing. In the prison, they don't have a name, they have a number. For the guards, when, when the guards came, um, when I arrived to the room, they told me, which, which uh, inmates are you looking for? The 82, they don't have a name. Because one of the main focus inside the prison is to erase their past, their crime past. But I realized that is not possible. Even if it's your, your past is not positive, you cannot erase that. Otherwise, you, you will disappear. The day we draw the superheroes. In this day, we were drawing, and I was asking Jaime, the one on the right, what, what happened in those months? And he told me, you know, I never drew. But I'm an artist, I'm, I'm a musician, and you show me a new world. And I need to thank you for that. And then, those two hours and a half, they were not in prison, they were outside. When they arrived to the room, their eyes were shining, and they were happy, and they asked me about my family and everything. After two hours and a half, when the guard knocks into, into the glass, 
their faces immediately. And then they were laughing and uh, talking about themselves. And one day, uh, it, it, was, it was really funny because Giovanni, when he was arrested, he was huge, like this. And he lost 50% of his weight just because of the food in the prison. Because in the prison, he ate three times a day. That's it. And at some point, they were fighting each other, trying to know who is thinner. The day we were drawing cars, even without my questions, they started to tell their stories. And they was told me, my first car was this, uh, when I was in the UK I had that. And then, Ivandro started with an amazing story that is not written because at some point, oh, come on, I cannot write this. Because he was telling me that sometimes in the same morning, he, do, he did Lisbon, Algarve, which is 300 kilometers. And he told me, sometimes I did that trip twice in the same morning. How come? Well, it was my work. I was uh, um, a drug um, traficante. Dealer. So we had a scheme. We drive always with stolen cars and we were at least three. Two of them in the front with no drugs, separated by five kilometers. And then I was in the, in the, in the I was the third one. I was, I was, I wasn't afraid of anything. When they asked me, we need someone to get, to, to, to bring the drugs. That's me. And he was in the third car because if there's something happening with, with the p police in the, in the, um, on the road, he knew and then he ran away. Unfortunately, I stopped the sessions last August because they want to they want to have a new group, but I don't have the time to do this as I want and as I wish, because I need to take vacations day to do this, which is my own problem and my family's problem, but it's okay because they understand. But the other thing is, we are having every day too much work. If I take an afternoon every two weeks, then I need to work on the weekend. So that's something that doesn't work. So right now, I'm not giving the sessions anymore, despite they are waiting with a new group to start everything. When I was preparing this, I was thinking, what were the conclusions that I took from these nine months? The first thing was probably because it was a high security prison, uh, I thought that, okay, they need to pay uh, for their things with no liberty, but they don't have dignity here. For you to have a, uh, an idea, after the sessions, they were pushed on the wall and they were um, searched because they could not have even a pen in the room. So those drawings were done only in that room, not in the cell, because they were not allowed to have anything for security reasons on the cell. So for me, it's, it's, it's bizarre how the guards and the staff prison, they, they, they show me that. I don't, I don't want to see my friends being uh, searched in front of me. They have a really low self-esteem the most precious thing for us is time. Everyone to be here needs to uh, take some days off in the work, or et cetera, et cetera. But for them, the time is the worst enemy. They are not used to have attention and care from someone from outside, even their families. There are people there that don't have uh, people uh, visiting them. They have chances to have two visits a week with a glass and only one visit per year without glass. And that visit needs to be 
in a specific moment or Christmas or birthday. They have the chance to have intimate uh, visitors, visitors, but the bureaucracy is so big that it's almost impossible to have it because they, are, they have wives and, you know. At some point I was so, with my heart full of everything, because I realized that I was their friends and they, they were not used to have friends. And they were so surprised because in the beginning they were thinking, what this guy is doing here? What this guy want from us? And then they realized that I, I, I don't want anything for them. I, I just want to spend time with them. The best drawings they did were done alone. And it's the same thing as we. Everyone is saying the same thing. In the symposiums, in the workshops, my drawings are crap. I think everything says the same. And they told the same thing. During the sessions, they were frustrated, everything. The best drawings they did were alone. Because they could spend one time a week, two hours in that room. So, even without me, yes, but with a guard on the outside. So they did those drawings alone. And I think that thing is really interesting because even with this kind of situation, they were uh, under lots of tension. Probably to be with me, with the guard, etc. When they were alone, they did amazing drawings. And the other thing that is for me uh, most important in my conclusion is it was amazing to be a volunteer. Uh, the days I was there were the days where I was uh, a better person. Uh, I was a, a, a better father, a better husband, a better everything. So I need to find a solution for my daily, di uh, daily, um, daily uh, days. The daily days, no, that's not correct. You understand. I need to find a solution because I need to start this again. Uh, I need to. I think I need this more than them. Thank you. Se queres perguntar. Any questions? Any questions? No. Karina. No, please, thank you. Peggy. Peggy. Um, we also do, we, Barbara and I, are part of a prison project for women inmates in Florida. And, it, and it's not as long as you have. Our experience is not as long as we do have. But I'm interested because there are a few little technical differences that, um, that I could see. Um, are your inmates allowed to have paints when they're alone? Yes, that but only in that room. In that room, but yes. they can have anything in that room. Well, the, the things that they, the most, the, 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 the biggest, the, the most um, part of the things that they have there, I brought them. Okay. So they have some. So you're able to leave the, them with them. Yes. Which we do. Yes. Yes. Um, do. How is this funded? Is this from your pocket? Yeah. It was. Yeah, of course. <laughs> we have. Um, we have about. We have fifty plus women now who've gone through the kind of classroom mm -hmm. sessions that we do, and then we meet with them as a group now, just once a month, and just, we all do pages together, you know, with no more instruction. Um, we have a little more visual. I, I saw some pictures to me from room. your sessions. It, it, it is completely different because you, you, yeah. could, you could have pictures. We could have a camera once in a while. Yeah, we get when special I get in, permission. When I get in, I need to, to leave everything in the entrance. So do we. The telephone, so everything. We, so do we. But, one, but we get special permission from the warden. warden to take the camera in. It's good publicity, I think, for them. For the yeah, for them it is. 
at some point the director told me, hey, if you want, you can write a story about this to put this in a newspaper to say that we are uh, open to this kind of stuff, but you need to show me the text before. So, I, I don't want to do that. But we're allowed to post their things on the internet. If they give permission, if the prison... Right now, I have the, the formal permission but to show the drawings. But I want to do something in a newspaper, but I want to write everything. And I know that the director will not give me permission for that. When I, when I, will, when I say that they don't have dignity inside the prison, the director will tell me, no, you cannot write that. So uh, there's, no, uh, n there's nothing in the newspaper yet because I'm not excited about the idea to write something and then to cut things. So did you sign any, any, any agreement? Well, in the beginning, uh, I was telling... They gave you the drawings. What? They gave you the drawings. Yes. So they are yours. Yes. So but why is their friend? Yeah. I, I, I yeah. I have, happy. you know, if, if, I, if, if I want, I could sell uh, El Solitario drawings in eBay because he has thousands of people that uh, in the world, but I cannot do that. Yes, but, but here I'm telling everything, and if you ask me whatever you want, I will uh, answer. But in the newspaper, I think I can, because the director wants to have, uh, in the, the end of the day, he wants to be, uh, in the end, yeah. The, yeah, uh, yeah, I think he's going to force me to write some things, and I don't want to do that. It was, it was their deci decision. The, 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 no, the, the director chose a group that he knows that they are probably, um, they have art inside of them, and they could be together because they are inmates that are impossible to be together. So they choose the group, and then after the, the, some of them were suspended, uh, they, they were including new elements in the group. But the last seven months were only with those three. What session do you think was the turning point in the process? I think it was the day where I bring some music. Because uh, on that day, they realized that there were things that could change in their lives because of that. And they, they spent two hours and a half listening to j jazz without expecting. The week after, they told me, hey, I want to listen to Rolling Stones. Can you bring Rolling Stones? Yes, I can. So it was something... They could, not, they could not have electronical devices in the cell. What are they doing all day long, watching television? Four channels in Portugal. That's it. Yeah. One hour of the gym. Um, one hour for the gym, one hour in the library, uh, two hours in the patio with the, with the bars on the top. They, sorry? In the library. library. They can have only one book at the same time in the room. All the letters that they receive, they are opened before they receive it. They cannot receive packages. This is not a, 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 an ordinary prison. It's high security. Uh, it's a totally different thing. It, for me, in the first days, when I left the sessions, I was so depressed because, come on, I'm leaving this place to my wife and my kids and to my home, driving, and those guys are in this cell uh, with nothing. But after some sessions, I realized, oh, come on, I need to put this uh, on the back, otherwise I cannot survive to this anymore. Come on.
choose the kind of glass and do it in a drawing. And so it's, it's called un undocumented, uh, uh, the architecture of migrant detention. So just if this topic interests people, it's, it's really a contrast, but then I think some of the same goals that you have. And I was curious about two things. One is very sexual, the content of the women. And I know in Canada I can give, I can donate books to the women's prison, but they're not allowed to have any sexual content because they're not allowed to masturbate or to have anything sexual in their life. So I wonder if you had to hide this from the guards. And then I also wonder... No, uh, the drawings were done. Uh, they, they give me uh, the drawings after he, he was transferred to Spain. Um, so, the, well, the drawings, I showed only drawings with naked women, but of course he did drawings that are uh, explicit, you know. They, they are in my place, I need to get them added for my kids until, well, they are 16 or something. The prison, it's, it's more like, the, does the prison allow the subject matter to go there in your case? Yeah. Because I was not allowed to give any books that had any content that might be even... No, I, no, I, 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 me, me, me either. Me either, but the thing is, he did the drawings, and then he, he tell to the to the staff, "I want these drawings to be with Nelson." So they gave me the drawings. I have this, this size. <laughs> and my other it's question, because the the people who are on the staff are also drawing more, do you think that created more of a relationship between the staff and the prison? Yes, because there were some 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 sessions where I need to, to call, hey, I'm overloaded with work, today I cannot come. Hey, Sergio, the guy from the staff, can you please uh, keep the session with them? Because my concern was they were expecting the session for two weeks. And then uh, if I cancel, they will be disappointed. And he gave at least three or four sessions without me. So at some point, they were getting uh, a relationship about the drawings. Um, that was absolutely fascinating. It sounds like uh, an opportunity for you that, that I don't know what you imagined it was going to be, but you say that you need more of it. Um, what, what do you feel are your kind of options at the moment for, you know, well. for continuing this kind of thing? Well, I would love to, to, to start a new group in this prison because they are special people. Uh, they, they live 18 to 21 hours every day in the cell. But I, I'm thinking that I would love to do this in an ordinary prison because I would love to draw the patio. I would love to draw the, the canteen, the people doing things, playing the... I, w I would love to do that, but honestly, I think it's not, it, it will be not fair for them if I change the prison to a prison where everything is much better. So I need, I need, to, I need to do this again because I want, to, I, want, I want to know more about this. You, you, you can imagine, after I went there for the first time, I was in the internet searching everything about the El Solitario guy that has more than, I don't know, if you if you look into in the, in the the internet about his name, it's more famous than than I don't know, Obama. Obama. Um, and I was I was reading a lot about the rules in the prisons. I was trying to understand how they live. So you've got a clear a kind of investment of time and, and um, interest and attention with the, this particular yeah. this institute. And is there anything that you would really like to, to happen, you know, a month uh, that might change as a result of the time that you've spent there and the, and the work you've done with these inmates? I, I probably um, I didn't understand properly okay. your question. If your work could bring about a change in this prison or in like prison reform or with how um, prisoners are perceived or anything like that, what, what would you like to happen? Well, the, good question because I, I, was forgot, I, I forgot one thing. When they asked me to start a second group, I told them, okay, I can start a second group, but I have rules. So to start a new group, they need to have permission to have the sketchbook in the cell because I want to see the drawings done inside the cell. I want them to draw the cell. I want them to draw the objects inside the cell. I want them 
to be able to have the sketchbook in the gym, in the library. And they told me, mm, put that on, on writing to the director. And then he accepted. So right now, I want to start the second group because it's going to be completely different. They will have the sketchbook inside the cell. They, they, they can draw, they can write, they can do more things. They will be allowed to have a pen inside the cell. I, I cannot imagine how can someone could spend too many hours in the cell without writing anything. To write a letter, they need to go to the library. They cannot do that in the cell. Well, th those three. <coughs> no, right now uh, they were all transferred because the high security prison normally is a prison for uh, short periods, except for the Spanish guy that was there seven years because Spain didn't want him, and he could not be in a normal prison, so he was there seven years. It's it's hard for me to imagine how could you live seven years in such a place. Because that prison is uh, um, it's a transition. The other day I was uh, giving a session and it was a, a guy passing in the corridor. It was um, uh, Al-Qaeda guy that was captured in the Portuguese airport. So he's there for b waiting for the trial. Or the other day it was um, a fighting in one of the Portuguese prisons and the guy killed another one. So six months to the high security prison. So it's difficult to keep the same group um, that many times. Those three guys are not there anymore. And I'm happy uh, for that because they are in a better place. place. Much better. I've got, I've got two questions about the beginning and the end, really. So I'm interested, what, why the prison said yes to your proposal? What was in it for them? What were they expecting? And I'm also interested, the, the ending for you, you've discussed that, you've explained that. How did they manage the ending of those sessions and you leaving for the inmates? Well, the first question, I think they were not expecting nothing. But once the, the time is their worst enemy, okay, let's do it. If this guy wants to read the Bible to us, it's better than staying in the cell. But at some point, drawing was some kind of freedom too. So in those two hours and a half, they were away. Uh, and then their feelings about uh, when the, f the, the sessions were finishing, in the beginning, they were frustrated and they were like this. At some point, they, 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 they were so happy with, with me when they see me every two weeks. We, we hug ourselves, they ask me about my kids, etc. In the end, when the guard knocks, they realized that w they were in jail. And sometimes they didn't say goodbye to me because they leave outside because I, was th I need to, to wait for them to be searched and go away. And at that point, th they were again uh, completely frustrated about everything. And now the project's finished. How? Well, well, right now it's not fin because this is this is a uh, I think this is not a project with a, a beginning and end. For me, this never ends. If I have time, I would love to do this for twenty years. Mm. I'm interested how they sort of you know the, from the inmates' point of view, it's a loss. It is, and if if I you cannot imagine when I receive his letter, reading the letter, tell me about how important it was, the sessions in Lisbon, how important the drawing was. He, he, he was telling me, well, here in Spain, I have a library. I was searching for some, out, some painter, painters, etc., etc. At some point, I was, uh, I was so emotioned uh, about it. It's impossible to describe. Uh, Nelson, I, I thought you said in the beginning that there was to be no, um, in prison, there was to be no discussion of religion. Um, does, do people come in and read the Bible or? No. I, I'm looking at the differences between the prison that we work in and. Well, they, 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 they didn't describe the reasons why, but I, my understanding is with the inmates, if I talk about 
political or religion, they might start uh, a fight, like we, like we. If I if I'm in the in the coffee shop with a friend and we are talking about uh, uh, the 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 parties on the right or the left or the abortion or the uh, gay lobby, etc. At some point, we need we need to split. Otherwise, uh, people will will need will no more be friends. So the reason why don't put political and uh, religion in the sessions. Otherwise, could be a mess. The first day when you walked in for the first time, handed them a pencil. Where did you start? They had no art back. What's the first thing you told them to do? What's the first thing you instructed? Did they draw each other? Did they draw their the, the first thing we did was blind drawing. Blind drawing. What did they look at? Each other. Each other. I did a first example, and then they were looking, they were funny about the results, and then they did it. And then we did continuous line. And then we tried the materials. They were uh, really surprised when they saw um, pincel d'agua, water brush. They were surprised when they saw uh, uh, crayon, uh, watercolor pencils. They were surprised with several things. Could you, could you, because you say that you didn't have enough time or you had to take vacation on that, can you create a group with the people that you have in Lisbon, a lot of people that live there that might actually be willing to go? And so then it's not just you all the time, it might be yeah, yeah, I understand that. You know, one of the persons, uh, the other day I was talking with uh, Teresa that you met, and I was thinking, well, we, we might find a group that could have time to be a volunteer. The other day I was uh, spoken with Stella, and she told me I would love to do that in a, a female prison. But, but that's another, it's another championship. Uh, we need to think how to do it in a different way, because like this, there's no responsibility. It's just me. If we do, if we do what you are suggesting, we need to do something with more structure. I think. Yeah, but but but, but, but let me tell you. Thing. Let me tell you. I I if think. You, you cannot do it by yourself. I think the uh, the Portuguese urban, urban sketchers could could uh, create a group of people that could do this all over the country. Yeah. But even for that, we need time. Because if, if you are not going to do it properly, it's better not to do it. Oh, of course. Anything else? I think we are out of time. You? Definitely. To say again that it was so wonderful to learn your experience and, and just to be thank you for you too. I'm so Not glad me. that you came and that you liked. It was the first time I shared this with people and I'm so happy that you were uh, as enthusiastic at least a little, a little bit as me. As, as, as soon, uh, uh, every time I, I spoke about this I felt that thing in the spine every time and I felt this for an hour and something. So thank you for that. I don't have cards, but I have postcards. You can choose one. I have nine different drawings. So choose.